From 2000 to 2009 was a decade of opportunity for the University of Central Florida. The top five stories of the 2000s demonstrate how the university is fulfilling its promise that UCF stands for opportunity. A panel of UCF experts developed a list of the top 10 most significant university stories for the 2000s. From November 25th to December 11th, the Central Florida community cast their vote for the top five stories. Coming in fifth was U.S. News and World Report's America's Best Colleges Guide, landing UCF as a top five national university to watch in 2009. It takes more than brick and mortar to make a top university. For U.S. News and World Report, it was a combination of factors that gave UCF the designation of a top five national university to watch. Well, this ranking recognizes outstanding academics, outstanding facilities, uh, research advances, so it's a very comprehensive look at UCF. And it also comes from our peers around the country. This is other university leaders around the country saying that we're one of the most innovative schools in the nation. Holding up the number four spot is the impressive decade-long gains in research funding. In 2004 to 2005, UCF surpassed $100 million in annual research funding for the first time. The university continued to secure more than $100 million in funding every year, culminating with $121.7 million in 2008 to 2009. At number three, the opening of the Bright House Network Stadium stands out as a historical turning point for the Knights. How do you feel about having a, an off-campus stadium? After years of playing miles away from the campus in downtown Orlando Citrus Bowl, the Knights playing against the University of Texas made their on-campus debut at the 45,000-seat stadium on September 15, 2007. An enthusiastic sellout crowd watched the Knights put up a good fight against the Longhorns in the first game at the Bright House Network Stadium. Following at number two is UCF's growth with quality. UCF posted record highs for its fall 2009 enrollment, with incoming freshmen posting an average high school GPA of 3.8 and SAT scores of 1225, the best in UCF history. Total enrollment for fall was 53,537 students, up more than 20,000 in the past 10 years, giving UCF the number three ranking for largest in the nation. And leading the pack at number one is the opening of the UCF College of Medicine at Lake Nona. Today, we begin a long tradition of excellence, and together, we will set the bar high for the future at UCF College of Medicine. The American Association of Medical Colleges says UCF is the first U.S. medical school to provide four-year full scholarships to an entire class. And there you go, the top five University of Central Florida stories from the 2000s. For UCF-TV, I'm Caitlin Channa.